Last week, a division of the state of California filed suit against Santa Monica-based Activision Blizzard. The video game giant behind Call of Duty, World of Warcraft, Overwatch, and more is a company as vital to the Los Angeles entertainment community as Disney, Netflix, Sony and any of the Hollywood players who get far more mainstream media scrutiny. The case against it is historic, in part because this is the first suit filed under a recently passed Senate bill that requires private employers with 100 or more employees to submit a report annually to the state with pay data for specified job categories broken down by race, ethnicity and sex. But mostly because it lays bare, for the public record, the gross inequalities that have long plagued the male-dominated industry that has yet to properly address its broken, sexist culture. The suit also makes clear that the video game community can no longer remain under the radar, its boorish boyish stereotypes, as well as a false reputation as entertainment biz outsiders, are not just outdated but bad for business. After all, you can't be the cool kid when California's Department of Fair Employment and Housing DFEH, argues in a 29-page lawsuit that the executives of Activision Blizzard grew a pervasive frat boy workplace culture and allegedly perpetrated or ignored inequality and sexual harassment. But we all know the cliché about the new boss. And according to California lawyers, the bosses of the company founded as Activision Inc. four decades ago not only allowed but sometimes endorsed cube crawls. Staffers walked from cubicle to cubicle getting drunk, during which female employees were subjected to unwanted advances, offensive jokes and physical touch. In a grown-up workplace, merely participating in a cube crawl could be grounds for dismissal. But the lawsuit writes that higher-ups cultivated this crude atmosphere, including one male supervisor who asked a male subordinate to buy a prostitute to cure his bad mood. In the suit, which representatives for Activision Blizzard say is distorted and in many cases false, harassment from a creative director on the World of Warcraft team is described as so prevalent and well-known within the company that his office was nicknamed the Cosby Suite after disgraced comedian Bill Cosby. When one female employee had assumed a managerial role and asked to be compensated justly, she was told the company could not risk promoting her as she might get pregnant and like being a mum. And in a tragic example of the harassment that defendants allowed to fester in their offices, one female staffer is written to have taken her own life on a company business trip due to the sexual relationship she was having with a male supervisor. The woman in question had suffered multiple instances of harassment, including having to endure nude pictures of her past around at a holiday party.